Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and this fall along, we're going to take a look at Elastic IPs. This stuff is extremely straightforward. The idea is we're just going to allocate an IPv4 um, static IP address and assign it to an EC2 instance. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is launch up an EC2 instance. I know we've created a lot of templates and other scripts, but what I wanna do here is just go ahead and launch one uh, using the console so that we get a little bit of console experience, management console to be specific. And so here we'll use Amazon Linux 2. We're gonna scroll on down, we have T2 Micro. I'm gonna to switch to T3 Micro since it seems to give me uh, less trouble, especially in the CA Central one region. And um, I don't need a key pair, so that is totally fine. And the other thing here is I want to have a security group and I want this security group to have internet access. We'll check box HTTPS, HTTP. I really only need HTTP here. We're gonna go down over to advanced details. And what I wanna do here is change the user data script. So somewhere here, ah, here it is, user data. And the idea is that we can run a bash script over here. And um, if we go into our VPC and we look at our uh, basics example, no, it wasn't that one. Uh, Knuckles maybe, there it is. In our template YAML, we created ourselves this user data script. So if we copy this and bring it on over here, we can just place that in there. I'm just going to bring this to the wall so that uh, it's a little bit easier for us to work with. But the idea is that this should run that script and install our website. So it looks good to me. Again, just double, triple checking that everything is against the wall here. Um, we don't need to say it's base64 encoded because I think it will it'll do that as it launches up. But this looks like it's in good shape, so let's go ahead and launch that instance. And um, I don't want a, a key pair. We don't need to log in, this should just work and launch up. If it doesn't, we'll just tear it down and try again. I don't think we named it, so we'll just go up here and just say, my EIP example, just so we're not confused in terms of what this is doing. We'll go down here and say launch instance. And so now it is launching the instance and I'll see you back here when this is done running. We just have to wait a little bit. Shouldn't take too long, okay? Okay, so let's give this a refresh and see if the status checks have passed. And hopefully our website just works. We're gonna go ahead and copy the IPv4 address and paste it into our browser. And we're gonna wait here and there we can see our actual address. So the idea is that if we create an Elastic IP, which we can do here in the EC2 console, then we can attach it uh, to our EC2 instance. So here it says allocate Elastic IP for IPv4, receive central one, that looks good to me. We're gonna go ahead and allocate it. Apparently there are global stack IP addresses, I didn't even know that. I guess if you're using the global accelerator, there's a high chance you probably already have to use that anyway. But anyway, we have our IPv4 address. So the idea is that we want to go ahead and associate this IP address. So I'm gonna drop down, choose our running instance. And down below, allow the Elastic IP address to be reassociated. Specify whether the Elastic IP address would be reassociated with a different resource if it's already in use. So we could say yes, so that it could be uh, reassociated. Notice we could either select the network interface or the instance, which underneath is gonna select that network interface anyway. But it seems like there is a slight difference. So if you associate the EIP with the instance, um, the previously EIP address will be disassociated. So it might be a better idea to associate it with the uh, instance in this case. We're gonna look at that record. Looks like it's already associated. So the idea is that if we grab this IP address, paste it on up here, our website should work the same way. And it does, so that's perfect. Let's go ahead and disassociate this. We'll do that. It's now disassociated, we'll refresh. Our website should hang because the idea is that it's not going anywhere and it's not gonna resolve. So that is the exact behavior we expect. We're gonna double click this. Make sure it's just HTTP, it will resolve faster if we do that. Sometimes if it's HTTPS and you don't have HTTPS support, it'll just spin forever. But anyway, um, we know that this is never gonna resolve because it's no longer there. And so that's all we had to show for our EIP. Let's make sure that we um, release it because if we do not release it, 
we're going to have issues. Notice there were some options to uh, transfer. So maybe that's the case if you need to transfer between uh, different instances. We're going to go back over to instances. We are going to go ahead and terminate our instance. So there you go. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Just make sure it's shutting down. <laughs>